How light interacts with different materials. Science 5, Quarter 3, Week 3. Most essential learning competency relate the ability of the materials to block, absorb, or transmit light to its use. In the previous lesson, you have learned that conductors are materials that allow heat and electricity to pass through easily, while insulators are materials that do not allow heat and electricity to pass through them. This time, you will learn how light interacts with different materials. Have you seen an artwork on a stained glass like what you are um, seeing in our slide or screen? Stained glass are seen in churches, art museum, and even in some houses. The design on stained glasses are achieved through the use of glasses with various colors and use, making them a sight to behold. The light that is visible to the human eye is called visible light. It is the small part of the electromagnetic spectrum which affects our vision. Light is propagated in space as electromagnetic waves. This is known as electromagnet wave theory of light. The primary source of visible light is the sun. The visible light allows us to see the color that is the not absorbed by the objects. For example, you see most plants as green because the leaves absorb all colors of the visible light except for green. To understand light further, you have to learn how it interacts with different objects. This branch of science is called optics. Optics is the study of refraction, reflection, absorption, and transmission of light. Refraction refers to the bending of light as it passes through different materials. For example, the pencil in the glass of water appears bent because of the different parts of the materials that interact with the light. The part of the pencil that is not deep in water interacts with the water. Light moves faster in air than in water. When light travels from air to water, its speed decreases. A medium is optically dense if it slows down the speed of light. This is why the pencil looks bent. Reflection it refers to the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. Some objects with flat surfaces, like mirrors, reflect light in a straight, predictable way. Some objects with an even surface, like rocks, reflecting light in a scattered way. Absorption refers to materials taking in light but not reflecting, reflecting it back. For example, when light strikes a black surface, it is absorbed by the surface and nothing is reflected. Transmission. It refers to the passing of light through some materials. For example, when light passes through a glass window, it is transmitted to the other side, allowing the light to pass through the window. Different materials have different ways of transmitting light. Transparent of materials. Transparent materials allow all light to pass through them. Clear plastic and glass windows are examples of transparent object. Translucent materials. Translucent materials allow some light to pass through them. Stained glasses and frosted windows are examples of translucent objects. Opaque materials. Opaque materials do not allow light to pass through them. Con concrete walls, wooden doors, mirrors are examples of opaque objects. 
The activity that you are going to perform will clearly describe how light interacts with different materials. Learning task 1. Refraction of light materials. You need uh, the following materials. Uh, a glass of water, 3 fourth full, white band paper, sunlight, crayons, and pencil. Procedures. Bring the glass of water and paper to a part of the room with enough sunlight or near a window is good. Hold the materials of water above the paper and watch as sun, sunlight passes through it, refracts or bends, and forms a rainbow of colors on your sheet of paper. Try, to, uh, try holding the glass of water at different heights and angles to see if it has a different effect. Then draw and color your observations. In my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed. Questions What do you see on the paper? When the glass of water was exposed to sunlight. Number two, what do you think caused the sunlight to refract or bend? And number three, uh, what was the effect when the glass was held at different heights and angles? What does this show? And number four, what may happen when light passes through a glass? And these are the correct answers. Number one, light. Number two, two, light has wavelength and each color of light has different wavelength. When the light enters the glass, which is denser than air, it slows down and is bent. With the different wavelengths, that make up white light bending at different angles. Number three, bending of light, which is called refraction. The ray of light changes direction when it passes through one medium to another. And number four, when light that is traveling through the air hits water, some of the light is reflected off the water. The rest of the light passes through the water, but it bends or refracts as it enters the water. For learning test number two, Put a check mark on the column that describes whether material can transmit, absorb, or block light. Number one, sunglasses, two cellophane, three rubber tire, four black shirt, five woods, six rays, seven dark cartolina, eight red shirt, nine plastic cup, and ten mirror. These are the correct answers. Um... Number one, sunglasses absorb light, cellophane absorb light, rubber tire black light, black shirt absorb light, woods black light, vase black light, dark cartolina absorb light, red shirt absorb light, uh, plastic cup and mirror transmit light. For learning task number three, use a Venn diagram to compare and contrast the following. Letter A, reflection and refraction. Okay, this is the comparison and contrast of reflection and refraction. Reflection refers to the bouncing back of light, while refraction refers to the bending of light. But they are they both collects and focuses visible light and they they are the ways by which light interacts to object. For letter B, you have to compare and contrast absorption and transmission. And these are the comparison and contrast of absorption and transmission. Absor absorption refers to a material's taking in of light, while transmission refers to the passing of light. They, uh, they, I, they are both behavior of light that strikes in different materials. For learning task 4, draw an illustration of opaque, translucent, and transparent materials inside the column. Consider the rubric below in doing the task. 5 points for... The drawing represents a clear understanding of the concept. 
Therefore, the drawing represents a somewhat clear understanding of the concept. Three points, the drawing represents a quite clear understanding of the concept. Two, the drawing does not represent the concept learned. And one, the drawing lacks detail. For learning test number five, matching type. Match the definition in column A with the concept in column B. Write the letter of your answer on the space provided before each number. Number one, primary source of light. Number two, the light that is seen by the human eye. Three, the bending of light as it passes through a different material. Number four, the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. And number five, objects that do not allow light to pass through them. Letter A, sun, B, refraction, C, reflection, D, opaque, E, visible light, and F, transparent. And these are the correct answer. For number 1, letter A, 2E, 3B, C, uh, 4C, and 5D. Again, up. Optics is the study of refraction, reflection, absorption, and transmission of light. Refraction refers to the bending of light. Reflection refers to the bouncing back of light. Absorption refers to a material taking in of light. And transmission refers to the passing of light. For our last learning task, learning task number 6, read each item carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1, a piece of coal appears black when viewed in sunlight because it blank all the light that falls on it. Letter E absorbs, B reflects, C disperses, or D transmit. Number 2, a red rose appears red because of its ability to, to blank. A absorbs the red color and reflects all others. B. Reflect the red color and absorb all others. Or C. Transmit all colors except red. Or D. Transmit the red color and reflect, reflect all others. And these are the correct answer. Number 1. Letter A. Absorbs. And number 2. Letter C. Transmit all colors except red. Next, for number three, what do you call the bending of light as it passes through different materials? Letter A, diffraction, B, reflection, C, dispersion, or D, refraction. Number four, what do you call the bouncing back of light? A, transmission, B, reflection, C, dispersion, or D, refraction. And number five, why do, you, why do people enjoy the shade of the tree during summer? Letter A, it absorbs light, B, it blocks light, C, it reflects light, or D, it transmits light. It transmits light. These are the correct answers. For number 3, letter D, refraction. Number 4, letter B, reflection. And number 5, letter B, it blocks light. And that ends our lesson for week 3, quarter T, science 5. Thanks for listening. Happy learning. Bye-bye.